Welcome to Access 2010 Expert Level 3, brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. Today's class is going to begin by teaching you a little bit about SQL, that Structured Query Language. It's the language behind the queries in your database. Knowing how to work with just a little tiny bit of SQL gives you a lot of extra power and flexibility in your databases. So we'll spend a few minutes going over some SQL. Next, we're going to build a callback form. In the last class, we built a contact form where we tracked previous contacts with our customers. Well, a callback form is going to allow us to set a list of customers that we have to call in the future. And we'll be able to quickly pull up a list of all the customers that we have to call for the day. This is good for sales reps, customer service contacts, and so on. Then we're going to learn about something very powerful called a subform. This is where you can take one form and embed it inside of another. In this example, we'll make a small subform to show a list of the last couple of contacts for each customer, and we'll embed that right inside of the customer form. So when you open up a customer's record, you'll see the last couple of contacts for them. Finally, we'll learn about form footer totals. We'll learn about the five popular functions, sum, average, max, min, and count, and how you can use them to calculate totals in the footers of your form. We'll set up a product table and a product category table. We'll make a form subform relationship out of that, and we'll set up form footer totals to calculate the quantity on hand for all of the units in a product category and the total number of items. This class follows Microsoft Access 2010 Expert Level 2. In Levels 1 and 2, we covered relational concepts, normalization, working with multiple tables, referential integrity, cascade updates and deletes, setting values across forms, and opening up the contacts form for the current customer. All of these things are very important before you begin today's class. If you take today's class without having taken Levels 1 and 2 of the Expert Series, you'll be missing a lot of the foundation material and how we built the contact form, how we built the customer form, how we related the two together. So I strongly recommend you watch Levels 1 and 2 first. I am using Microsoft Access 2010 in this class. The topics that I cover should work just fine in Access 2007. You shouldn't have any problems following along. Or if you're using 2013, all the lessons today should work just fine as well. If you're using Access 2003 or earlier, you should either upgrade your version of Access or visit my website and look for my Access 2003 tutorials. Access 2003 is pretty different from 2007 and 2010. The course that is the equivalent of today's class is my old Access 202 lesson for Access 2003. Now, I strongly encourage you to build the database that I actually build in class. Follow along with me in the videos and build it yourself. However, if you'd like to download a copy of my database file, you'll find it at accesslearningzone.com slash databases. If you've been with me since Access Beginner 1, it's best if you use the copy of the database that you've been working on since then. However, if you jumped in midstream, or if you haven't been building the database with me, you can always download the file there. My courses are broken up into four groups, Beginner, Expert, Advanced, and Developer. The beginner lessons are designed to give you a basic overview of the simple features of Access. The expert series, the one you're in now, is designed for more experienced users who are already comfortable with Access. The advanced lessons cover working with macros, automation, and many more advanced features. And the developer lessons get into programming with Visual Basic for Microsoft Access. Each of the series are broken down into different numbered levels, starting with level 1. The beginner series, for example, had levels 1 through 9. This is level 3 of the expert series. In addition to my normal access classes, I also have seminars designed to teach specific topics. Some of my seminars include building web-based databases, creating forms and reports that look like calendars, securing your database, working with images and attachments, writing work orders, tracking accounts payable, learning the SQL programming language, and lots more. You can find complete details on all of these seminars and more on my website at accesslearningzone.com. 
If you have questions about the topics covered in today's lessons, please feel free to post them in my student forums. If you're watching this course using my custom video player software or the online theater on my website, you should see the student forum for each lesson appear in a small window next to the class videos, as long as you have an active internet connection. Here, you will see all of the questions that other students have asked, as well as my responses to them and comments that other students may have made. I encourage you to read through these questions and answers as you start each lesson, and feel free to post your own questions and comments as well. If you're not watching the lessons online, you can still visit the student forums later by visiting accesslearningzone.com slash forums. To get the most out of this course, I recommend that you sit back, relax, and watch each lesson completely through once without trying to do anything on your computer. Then, replay the lesson from the beginning and follow along with my examples. Actually create the same database that I make in the video step by step. Don't try to apply what you're learning right now to other projects until you've mastered the sample database from this class. If you get stuck or don't understand something, watch the video again from the beginning or tell me what's wrong in the student forum. Most importantly, keep an open mind. Access might seem intimidating at first, but once you get the hang of it, you'll see that it's real easy to use. Now let's take a closer look at exactly what's covered in today's class. In Lesson 1, we're going to learn a little bit about SQL, Structured Query Language. It's the language behind all the queries in your Access databases. In Lesson 2, we're going to create a callback form. A callback is simply a contact where you've indicated you want to call the customer back at some point in the future. We'll make a list of all of our callbacks, plus a button to open that customer's record. In Lesson 3, we're going to learn about something that's very powerful in Microsoft Access called a subform. This is where you can show related records by embedding a smaller form inside of a larger form. In Lesson 4, I'm going to show you how to create form footer totals. For example, adding up all the quantities in a subform and putting that value in the subform's footer.